Good morning and welcome to Coffee and Crafts. I am Linda Cullen from Crafty Stampin' and welcome. I am joined today by my good friend Gianna Malone Sardella from GG Stamps and she is going to go live later today. When are you going live? 7.30 tonight. So Gianna is going to go live at 7.30 tonight. So she came here to join and kind of promote. So be sure to head over there tonight. I'll put a link um, when I update my description for my blog posts for later. So good morning everybody. Good welcome. Morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today I thought we would play with some new product from the holiday catalog because it has just been sitting on my desk kind of tempting me. Um, I've had to make sure I got my holiday catalogs out and I got a bunch of other stuff I had to do and I'm, it's like sitting there going, please play with me, please play with me. So today I thought we would. So let's jump over and see what we're playing with today. This is, no, oh, that is not what we're doing. <laughs> That's what I'm playing with tonight. Yep. Okay. That's exactly what I'm playing with tonight. Yep. I'm going to give yep. you another shot hold, at the season. Hold that thought two <laughs> seconds. You, I knew, I was just saying to her, I'm going, there's going to be something I screw up. And there it is, right off the bat. Okay, let's try this one. This is what we're playing with. We're playing with the new Alpine Adventures uh, stamp set and die. And I've got some of the farmhouse. Oh, geez. Farmhouse. Festive farmhouse. I, I'm trying to learn the new names. The festive farmhouse um, paper. So uh, this is going to be lots of fun. Sorry about the little. Yeah. It's if I don't, my favorites. If I don't screw something up, we know there's something bigger <laughs> wrong in the universe. So that's what we're going to play with. I got a whole bunch of announcements we got to run through. Um, but most importantly, our giveaways. So um, the giveaways for today are um, if you leave a comment during today's broadcast, you will be entered in to win the wooden snowflake elements. Um, and these, I think, were in the holiday catalog last year. I, I did a lot of dehashing and I found a bunch of stuff, especially stuff I hadn't even opened. So my giveaway pile has gotten nice and big. Um, so we're going to give away that at the end of today's broadcast. If you leave a comment, and you can just say hi, um, at the end of this broadcast, I will uh, pick a name for that, uh, the snowflakes. If you, unfortunately, do not get picked for the snowflakes, or you are watching this later, either on Facebook or on YouTube, because I will post this up on YouTube later, um, you can still enter to win, and I will then be giving away the Heartfelt Blooms stamp set. And I will pick that on my next scheduled uh, coffee and crafts, which is September 4th. By that point, the children will be back in school and hopefully we'll be back on a schedule and I'll be able to really plot out some more uh, coffee and crafts for you guys. Um, so that is the giveaway. So please stick around and please share. If you share this video and you can share it to a group, you can share it to your personal page. Um, I will add you for a second entry into the heartfelt bloom so that is my little extra gift for you um okay so those are our giveaways so let's run through what is going on so right now is the limited edition color your seasons those uh we've played with um in the past and tammy and i did a very in-depth uh stamp scoop about these i am loving these i'm a little upset especially about these uh labels that um, might, are going away at the end of August because I'm in love with them. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to not use them, which I probably still will, so be prepared to see those. Um, but those, and we got a note, because we were told that the um, pencils, the watercolor pencils, the assortment two, could show up in another uh, publication, another catalog, and we got a note saying that they were disappearing. So if those are something you want, you need to buy these now. So all of this disappears either um, August 30th or while supplies last. So make sure you pay attention on that. Next up, Paper Pumpkin. Okay, who doesn't love Paper Pumpkin? Um, and who doesn't love playing around um, with right. Halloween? Okay, um, something spooky this way comes, uh, a little bit of Macbeth Shakespeare. Um, there, from what I'm told, there's going to be 24 little whatevers in this box. So if you want to plan for a really fun, spooky Halloween, and you maybe have more than 24 you want to make, you need to buy two. And there is a potential that this kit could sell out before September 10th. Because um, I know I'm upping the amount that I'm getting. Because I, 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 I love Halloween. I just love... I, I don't... I'm like, I'm not out trick-or-treating anymore my kids are older they don't want me out there but I like decorating and playing and crafting for Halloween so um, I will definitely be upping my, my count for um, Halloween so 
FYI, you need to sign up for Paper Pumpkin by the 10th of September to get that spooky. But like I said, it could sell out in advance. Okay, bonus days. Every $50 you spend in August, you get $5 coupon for to spend in September on your new holiday catalog stuff. Ugh. Okay. Exciting. It's exciting, and I have an ungodly amount, so... <laughs> I'm going to get a lot of I'm, snail for free in September. I'm close to You're you. You're close, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a good amount. But don't forget those. And keep a hold of your coupons. I have a printout as well as a special mail folder. So they're in two places so I know where to find them later. Um, and also my special gift to you for the rest of the August is I'm doing double frequent buyer points. So you can combine that with your bonus days. You get double frequent buyer points. That's more free stamps faster. Um, so you can check out uh, craftystampin.com for all my frequent buyer point uh, details as well as uh, a little check sheet so you can cross them all off. Um, and I know quite a few people have taken advantage of this. I think we're going to have a lot of free stamps going out of here in September. I know there's so much. Okay. I mailed all my catalogs out. I do them from here. Um, yesterday. They hit the mailbox yesterday. So tomorrow, the next day, you guys should be seeing them. If you don't, let me know and I will get you one or get you a new one. Once you see all these products, you are going to want a little bit of everything. And I have product shares to meet everyone's needs. I have a paper, I have a ribbon, I have an embellishment, and I have a mega get it all. And if yeah. you do the mega, I'm also going to, for the first 32 people that sign up for mega, and that's getting closer to hitting that number, um, the, oh my God, Mary, the new, the, the, the name just went out of my head. Not merrily, we roll along. The special one that is for hostesses only in September. Oh, you're yes. getting it. Is it what is it? Um, Open that drawer. It's the first bottom, 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 bottom. There, you pull oh. that one. Um, the first one in front. What's that called? Um, uh, that's dashing along. Dashing along. That's it. Okay, you will get dashing <laughs> along free with oh, your mega share. <laughs> Something else. Poof! It goes right out of my brain. Um, so those are the product shares, craftystampin.com. It's right on the front banner. Click on that. You can fill out the form, and I will get those to you. We're getting close to the end. And here's the best part. Let's do our last week's, last week's watch later giveaway. And that was for Stampin' Blends uh, Combo. And i got to find that over here. So this is random.org, and I have put everyone's name in here who uh, left a comment on either my Facebook post of that broadcast or the YouTube and you can see quite a few names are doubled those are the people that said they shared and left a comment that said they shared but it'll have so, I, I am Susan I am very surprised the um, blended seasons bundle has not sold out yet but maybe Stampin' Up was really smart and ordered tons because they knew how popular it is it's an amazing yeah versatile set and I think everyone on my stamp club has ordered it <laughs> so <laughs> It is. It's very popular. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Let's randomize. And come on, come on. Is, did I? Did it no. go? Let's try it again. <laughs> there there we go. Is. Brenda Wall Richards. So congratulations, Yay, congratulations to Brenda. So Brenda, if you head over to Crafty Stampin', and then if you head to specials and giveaways. Ba -ba -da. There we go. I have a link right here. Someday I am going to make a button, but right now it's a link. Um, and if you fill out this form, I will get that out to you. You have two weeks to get that um, out. And I, if you scroll down here, you'll see everything that I currently have um, available for giveaways that you can all get involved in. Um, so are we ready? To, so let me show, let me show this again. Are uh, we ready to make a project? Yes. Woo! Okay. Exciting. This is, so like I said, this is from the up coming holiday catalog uh this is um oh someone saw their name third on the list <laughs> <laughs> sorry i know that that's gonna be worse i'd rather not see my name than see it right there next to it um so this is what we're gonna make this is with a combination of the alpine adventure stamp set and matching dies as well as the festive farmhouse dsp I'm starting to forget what i'm doing okay so here we come down here. I love how this is yellow, not. Um, <laughs> hold on. Turn off auto white balance. Now it's pink. Let's see. There we go. I like That's that better. Right. Okay. Um, 
Oh, you got to play with the camera all the time. So, like usual, if you've seen me before, I will do a blog post recap, usually about an hour after the broadcast, and um, I'll have all details, links to all the products I use on my store. Unfortunately, those links will not, well, if they're a holiday catalog, they won't work until September 1. 5th, actually, September 5th. 5th I yeah. keep forgetting that. Usually everything happens on the 1st. Oh, it's the 5th. Um, but you, and there's a, also a downloadable PDF that's got all the cut sizes, a nice picture, and all the products I'm using, and a place that you can make some notes. Um, so let's get busy. That uh, sounds great. All right. So first thing I want to do, let's, let's get the big shot. Because one of, and I haven't mentioned it yet, one of the really cool new products that is, um, it's part of the farmhouse suite, is this corrugated um, embossing folder. It's like, one of the dynamic embossing Yeah, folders. and I kind of, like, you could play, you know, you play uh, <laughs> the washboard. Yeah. This is sort of your own personal washboard. So we're going to, I'm going to find my paper. And you guys have asked questions because I'm just chatting away like crazy here. I can't get a word in edge. I know, You're going I so know, fast. I'm sorry. Um, I will go back and reread them if I missed any but thing. I'm sorry. Um, just that's it. So this is a dynamic embossing folder. So when we do those, we want to remove a plate. And I'm going to remove the thin die adapter. So I only have the Big Shot platform. I only have the Big Shot platform so you can actually see it. They're so bright over here. Hold on. I have uh, it's so many lights over here. It's not even funny, but it's, it's one of the reasons I'm here is to see uh, this exactly is, yeah, my what's setup. going on. Oh, it's <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, she's she's a pro at this. Uh, so all right, so here's the dynamic impressions folder. I'm putting it directly on the uh, platform, and then I'm putting only one plate in. And this and is not the magnetic platform. No, this is just the. Um, the oh, and page. something you did not do, which I learned when I was reading it. If you spray that with water, yes. you don't get as many creases, it softens the fibers. Yes. So if you, I don't generally have issues with mine. Every Big Shot's calibrated a smidge different. Right. Run a scrap piece through. Also, and your Whisper White is going to be different from your uh, crumb cake. It's going to be different from whatever. So right. run, a, run a scrap piece through of the paper you're going to use. If you don't like how it works then spritz it, see if that works better. I don't have a problem, and I kind of want a little bit of that distressed look it gives, so I'm good without the water. Right. But you might need it. So, yes, good tip. Thank you. Sorry. No, no, that's good. So I'm going to put these away for a second. All the parts and pieces. All right, so let's start to build first, because I got a lot. See, I got a lot of, lot of pieces here. All right, boss, all right. Inking it. Yes, you could definitely ink it before that um, corrugated folder. Like any of the folders, you could ink them prior to mm -hmm. um, running them through the Big Shot. That um, you get either a uh, like a debossed look if you put it on the raised portion, um, and so the ink gets on the insides, um, or you could put it on the outside. I probably wouldn't do it on the outside. It'd be easier for me to control just to ink it with a sponge. Um, so I'm working here with uh, Mossy Meadow as my base, and I'm using these really cool, uh, there we go, um, patterns, wow, that, sorry, I'm working on my in and out, that was a little too crazy, um, from the Festive Farmhouse, these are the same piece of, uh, DSP, and I'm using both sides. Sometimes I find when I want to find a coordinating uh, DSP to go with the DSP, I use the opposite side. They tend to have um, the same color um, patterns. They, I mean, and one side tends to be m more mute, muter, right. calmer right. Um, than the other. So here I have a full big uh, plaid, and here I have a simple check. Um, so what I want to do, I'm going to cut this one in half. I'm going to fake it. I want it to look like I've got a full sheet of DSP when I'm not using a full sheet of DSP. Is this the sign or one of this? It's a I want the little grade. one. Yeah. I want this one. Try to make knowing me I would have cut it in half the wrong way. Alright. So I'm gonna line this up right here and I'm gonna add snail to the back of my two pieces. 
Okay, I'm going to make sure I can try and see comments. When they do come up with a question, I kind of, like kind of on the ball. No, we're good. I, I don't like to answer too many because I want to focus on this, and, but every once in a while. Um, all right. So I'm purely eyeballing this. You can put... But once you put the first one down, just put a ruler down. You or can something. use a ruler or something to do. I I tend to eyeball it. If it's a little off, it's a little off. It's homemade. These are the lumps in the mashed potatoes, is what I tell people of homemade. I said you all remember that commercial for I don't even remember what type of mashed potatoes it was, but it was just like homemade without the lumps. So to me, home homemade means it has lumps. So a little off, a little crooked. Those are the lumps. Those are your homemade. You know, you want someone thinking you bought it. No, I made that. See the lumps? Okay. So now I'm going to attach this piece with um, dimensionals. And where are my snips? These are when I like to use the edges. Um, so I'm going to put that. I use all portions of my dimensionals. I'm sure you guys do too. We don't waste anything. No. Alright. So, yeah, love that saying. Yeah, the just like homemade without the lumps. No, nope, they should have put the lumps in. Okay, so I'm gonna attach this here. Alright, so it looks like I got a full sheet behind. Shh, no one has to know. All right, what else am I doing? Where did my card go? We do conserve. It went there it is, lot. okay. I have to look, or you know, guys, I go rogue. <laughs> that could go bad. I'm like, wow, it looks nothing like what you said it was going to look like. All right, so I'm going to take my corrugated, and I'm going to attach literally snail to it. I find that when we have the dynamic embossing, it you want to put a little bit more snail than normal because yeah. you only have half of uh, the surface to attach. Sometimes I'll put snail and liquid glue. So the oh. snail will hold it immediately and then the glue will dry more permanently in all the nooks and crannies. Oh, that's a good yeah, idea. I, don't, I like I, that. Yeah, that's my my quick tip. Okay, like quick tip. so here's the, here's the base. Now we got to play more with um, the big shot. I'm going to cut stuff out now. Uh, and I love the... the um, set the finlets here or the framelits okay, okay. A bit of both. sorry about that jumpy in and out i find i get a better picture on a close-up if i use different software it's so so fun all right so here we go so i got a piece of early espresso and i got a piece of a big square piece of whisper white the early espresso is getting the die for the sleigh and the Whisper White is getting the largest stitched circle from the stitched shapes dies. And I don't know, Linda, that's going to go pretty soon. That. Uh, that is one of my original plates when I first got out my big shot in 2000, January of 2005. So if that's all it's going to do, that's all it's going to do. It's all it's going to do. I am keeping him, keep him going. It actually, it actually, it, it curves and then it cracks and it goes flat again. So I actually like the cracked ones because they're flat. All right, so there's my circle. Let's put that aside. Dies back up. I'll pop out my sled and my sled. I know what you're looking for. I know. For. I'm looking for a brush. Of course, it got there used it in clubs, so things are every which way. So let's kind of pop out the pieces and parts of the sled. There we go. All right. And the sled also has, and I'm not going to pop them out. And you can see there's little holes in it, too. So you can use your upcoming new Take My Pick oh, tool. Oh, this is a great tool. And hold on. I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I had to fix something earlier. So I, oh, there we go. You, you want to defend yourself in the craft room? This is a po this is a pokey tool for you. But 
So it's got a nice pokey tool, or you can use our my original pokey tool. Look at the difference in the pokers. Woohoo! Woo! Um, so this one has a much sharper point. Yeah, but it really will get out all these little bits in the dies. Right. Um, and the detail in this die, I was just so impressed. Yeah, it's this whole set is really nice. The yeah. uh, snowshoes and everything, some really classic winter looks, not just necessarily Christmas, but right. winter. All right, so there is, and what's nice is this tool has a cover. Yes. See how long before I lose it, but it's got that nice cover. All right, so there's my sled. Let's uh, let's see what else I gotta do. Let's stamp. All right, so uh, in the set, get the glare off. So here is um, this, uh, snowshoe, another sled, a ski, some cool greetings. So I uh, and it's got a two-step wreath. So I'm going to use the two-step wreath. Um, I've got the green and the red portions of that program and I'm going to use matching cherry cobbler and mossy meadow. So. I'm getting kind of jealous of this new program that you're using. Is This is with the new camera, right? New camera, yep. Yeah. All right, so, so now I'm going to stamp the, hold on. So on these, there's a little point on the stamp. And now you can really see it in the rubber. Sometimes I'll put a Sharpie mark on it. Oops, there we go. Yeah, on this side so that you can try and line them up together. Um, so I'm going to aim them both the same direction here. And I do like to put them on and the blocks do. themselves with it in the same direction yeah. so that um, okay. it takes less thought. Right. I, I agree with you than if I always keep them the same way. Um, so now I'm going to do the cherry cobbler. I did it once full strength and once stamped off, and I'm going to see which one I like better because I have enough. All right, I'm going to try and line this up. My head is going to be in the way, so I don't know if I'm getting the best. Oh, yes, I don't like that at all. Um, I may have to do this again off camera. Nope. You know what? I like the second one better. Yeah, stamping off so that the... Yeah, um, it's less green. It's less dark. Yeah. The red kind of pops this way. Pops. Okay. You need to have a little bit of depth in your values, <laughs> as your art teacher I thought say. you were going to say your depth in your valleys. <laughs> No, values, <laughs> meaning that the, the red is a much brighter and darker okay. value. So I'm going to use the Let It Snow, and I'm going to emboss that with uh, Versamark, and then I'm going to heat emboss it with silver embossing powder. And you just did her embossing buddy. I did the embossing buddy. I did remember, because I've had this discussion before. I have a terrible time. For whatever reason, my brain thinks stamp, then embossing buddy. And that is so wrong. Yes. <laughs> All right, so and you add did that my silver. silver. Right? Yep, yeah. doing it silver. I tend lately to do everything in gold, so I'm trying to change I'm my be ways. I'm gold tonight. See, I, I'm using the um, blended seasons for a wedding card. Ooh, so preview tonight, 7:30. Yeah. Stamp with Gigi. You're over here, so you, you gotta come this way. This way. Here you go. <laughs> Well, they I'm can hear you. I know. I know. I don't I know. want to be in your way when That's you're okay. moving. That's okay. That's okay. I know. I'll take you out. <laughs> <laughs> She's bigger than me. Oh, I know. But. Who is in the background? So this is Gigi from Gigi Stamps. Hi. Hold on. Let me. I'll say it again once I turn the heat embossing tool off. Yeah, I, I, I find there's no good yeah. way of embossing when you're on. So this is Gigi from Gigi Stamps. Hi guys. <laughs> so if you go to ggstamps.com, that is her blog. She and Gigi Stamps, is it just Facebook at Gigi Stamps? Yep. Yep. So she is going live tonight with the Blended Seasons at 7.30 uh, Eastern Time on her channel. So she's here promoting that. Um, and I will put, when I go to update uh, the description up above with my link for the... Uh, blog post recap, I will add her information there so you can link straight over to her. Right. Yeah. And I was just saying that when I do the um, blended seasons, I'm going to be using the gold 
because she was saying she used gold a lot. I do use gold a lot. I'm going to be making a wedding card. My niece got married. Oh, awesome. And I still haven't given her her gift yet. She got married August 4th. And I spent the entire day at her house. Ah. So the wedding gift is still at my house. There we go. So I'm going to punch it. There's a little bow that is in this alpine dye. I'm going to punch that out with that. And then there's this oval, like a scalloped oval. So that is what I am going to do the let it snow with. Yes. And I'm going to find a post-it note. They're doing a lot of great shapes, great um, yeah. um, this label shapes in in the holiday oh, catalog. Yeah. There's so many. It's like oh, I I want this set, especially because for the it label. Yep. yep. And the bows. How yep. many bow different bows they have in there? I know. You when you see this catalog, you are just going to be awing and ooing, yep. and I have to have it all. <laughs> Someone asked about the containers that I use for um, my embossing powders. If you go to craftystampin.com, specials, and then go all the way down, it's like downloads and resources. I list all the details with links in there of what I use. Lots of good stuff in that section. You, you Absolutely. Go check out my downloads and resources portion of my blog. I come here all the time to say, now what do you use for that? <laughs> All right, so here are these. Here's my Let It Snow. I'm going to put that aside. And my little bow, you'll see um, that. Now I'm going to punch out with, there's a matching wreath. And it's yeah. also, you see, it's also got the little point, so you know what direction to line it up with. Um, so, of course, I say that like it will immediately happen. Eh, not always perfect. There we go. Let me put that down. All right. And I love that you're using these sticky tapes. That's yeah, I, I, sticky. Um, and I will tell you, the cheaper the post-it note, you know, so i.e. not name brand post-it notes, the better. Because yeah. they have less stick, so they're easier to get on and off. I find some of the name brand post-its, woo, especially brand new pack, they stick. Yeah. They may stick too much. And they stick to your thinlets. Yeah. All right. Let's see how this came out. We're on the home stretch here. So it pops out the center. Boom! There's our wreath. Okay, I think, think we're ready to assemble. All right. Let's bring back our base. I'm going to take my little pieces and parts and get all the punches out of it. What did I do? Okay, so you have to look and see what the card was because I'll just kind of go rogue. All right, so here is our largest stitched shape circle all right um and i am going I'm peeking over her shoulder that's okay <laughs> i know i do that with tammy when we're doing the scoop like what you doing over there <laughs> all right so i'm adding dimensionals to the back of this i like a pumped up card yes i was wondering how many oh how many yeah i i don't if i'm going to spend all this time making a card I'm not going to worry about a couple extra cents in postage. I want it all. I want it to look the way I want it to look, and then I'll pay a little extra. Uh, right there. Boom. All right. Next, so I'm going to put my Let It Snow right here. Um, because the circle is elevated, I'm going to have to put a dimensional on this side, and then I'm going to put a little snail on this side. So I'm going to flip this over. Put snail here. Dimensional here. All right. And there is that. So for my... Um, Wag uh, wagon, sled, little red wagon. Uh, my sled. I'll flip this over. I'm going to use. Where did I put them? I pulled them out. Here's right, here we go. Right there. I'm going to use oh, foam adhesive strips. They're already in the shape I need to attach to the strips here. So I just like to. I'll pull one out a little bit like that, and then I just kind of trim some pieces off. And I'm just going to add them here and here. And we'll put one more down here. Now, I notice that you're trying to keep away from the white dots, or the holes there. 
But if you cover them up, it's no big deal because it's white, white on white. White on white, yeah. I just try to keep them in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. All right. So I'm going to put this on a wee bit, a wee bit of an angle. Kind of like that. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to attach my wreath up here. And I'm just going to put some snail. And having that wreath there actually gives stability to the yeah. top end of it. Yeah. So I'm going to put the wreath. Now I'm going to take, here we go. For this tiny, 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 tiny little bow, um, oh, they got blurry. Um, I am just, I'm going to use my uh, fine tip glue pen. And you don't have to squeeze that. It just kind of falls out. Yeah. I'll usually, the silicone mat I love, there it goes. Yeah. Um, so I can just put a little here. I use my finger to line the pin back up to get back in there easily. The holiday catalog, Robin, is available now. Um, I just did my mailing. If you would like to get one, if you go to craftystampin.com, uh, I think ordering uh, or shop, and you go down to catalogs, and the form is there, I'll be more than happy to mail one out. So there is my holiday catalog card. And I have to give myself thumbs up sometimes that I yes. actually made it look like the original. <laughs> I stayed on point. Because I don't always stay on point. That's a great one. Um, yeah, so that is the fun card. Uh, you guys are going to love the holiday catalog. Like I said, my mailing went out on Monday. Um, uh, let's bring you back here for a second. My mailing went out on Monday. I have more to mail out if anybody would like one. Like I said, craftystampin.com. Yeah, we'll go. If you go to Crafty Stampin. Uh, shop online. No, not that one. Don't click on shop online. Shop online catalogs. There we go. Um, and that will bring you over. And if you just scroll down here, there's a form. Fill out. I will mail off a catalog to you. I'd love to mail one off to you. So right now we're going to do our giveaways for, let's see. So, so today's giveaways, right now we're going to do a giveaway for the snowflake elements. So if you have left a comment on here, you will be eligible. If you haven't, just pop in real quick and say hi. If you do not win um, or you are watching this later, please still leave a comment and I will add you in. To, I know the, the windows get smaller. There's I'm not, looking at the one on the left. Yes, She's you don't want to look over here. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. So the watch later is Heartfelt Blooms. If you leave a comment, uh, you'll be entered in. If you share this video and then type the comment shared with a D, I will add you in for a second entry to win that. So let's jump over to live giveaways right now. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to refresh um, this post so that we get everybody's comments in that's left a comment. And bum, 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 bum. here we go. All right. Pick a winner. There we go. And you get to enter by commenting. Come on. There we go. And you get one entry for this contest. And our winner is Karen Perimarini. Congratulations, Karen. Karen, you know where to go. Crafty Stampin' Specials Giveaway. Fill the form out and I will get these snowflakes out to you. So thank you very much for joining me today. Great and to for see you all. joining Gianna. Now Gianna again will be on GG Stamps on Facebook at 7.30 tonight. She's playing with the Blended Seasons. She's making a wedding card. And I think that's all for today. I will be back on Tuesday with Tammy. We're playing with some kits out of the holiday catalog. It is holiday catalog time. And uh, I will be back with Crafty Stampin' scheduled on the 4th of September. And by that point, my kids will be back in school. And I'll be able to get back into real stamping and real life. <laughs> <laughs> so I will see everybody later. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye. Nice to see you. Bye.